got a critical on him. A what? How did I... Oh my god, my artillery killed one of our planes. What my artillery fuck? killed our JU-87. That How makes so much sense. What? I was thinking, did I just shoot a friendly Hellcat? But... Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel once again. I am back on War Thunder with my boy, Major Fulcrum. Major Fulcrum, say hello. Hello there. Woo! Make some noise. We are taking out the... Well, I'm taking out the M4A2 Sherman, the Len Lease for... Well, the, the premium tank in the Russian tech tree. And it's a nice tank. And hopefully you're going to see why. And... Fulcrum is going to be joining me on my journeys, and we are in 5.0 BR in realistic battles, so we are going to see how we get on, hopefully kill some Hellcats instead of be uh, killed by Hellcats. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to see how we do, and we'll hop into some battles now, and let's do it. Here we are on our first battle in Finland, and I don't have the winter camouflage, so we're probably screwed. Uh, what is this? Conquest, okay. I'm gonna go over to... There's only one point. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go... Uh, there's a little spot that I like to go when it's here. Around... In fact, I, I forget where it is. I don't even know. I know where it is, I just can't point it out on the map. I'm just gonna drive there. Be careful not to ram the T-34 or 85 out the way. Oh, you and your 34? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm driving straight into rocks. That's a good start. I'm in my infrared. I was going to say I was going to ram one out the way. <laughs> M4A2 with the 76 millimeter. I can't see shit in this forest. Is this this is the M1A2 gun, isn't it? Because the muzzle brakes. Uh, the yeah. I I'm think sorry. it is. One of the latest Shermans. Yeah. Please don't die straight away, that's all I'm asking for. Oh, no, that will go into a foul compilation. <laughs> Gonna follow this T-3485 in. Welcome to Finland. Get one shot across the map by some cheeky <laughs> Well, we're up against the Americans and the Brits, so hopefully we will be okay because we're playing as the Russians so it's always never fine. Of the street. Call an artillery on the point. Yeah, this comes Ooh. What are you shooting at? Is that an enemy right there? No. I thought that was a chevron. See nothing up ahead. Get the binos up. Nothing. I'm gonna push up. Alright. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, now, ladies. Yeah. What's cooler than being cool? Fulcrum. I have no clue. Ah. Ooh. Enemy Sherman moving up. Oh, yeah, I see him. Looks like a jumbo. I might be wrong. If you, bat, if you bounce all the shots, then pray to God that he bounces. He should be pushing up here. Around this corner. There he is. No, he's not a jumbo. No? No, no jumbo. He's down. That is a firefly. It's a firefly. Yeah. It was Although actually, that it was... might that might not have been him. Oh god. Hellcat. Where? To our right. Is it to your immediate right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know where he is. Pull some arty on him. Damn it. 
Open mouth for this one. I can see his traces. Yeah, I see him. Well, I hit the rock. Okay. Oh, well, I'm not gonna bother taking that shot again. Shit. I'm in a bad situation here. <laughs> There is a Sherman coming up behind me. Let me spectate you. You know I'm out of spawn points. He fired. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead because of the Hellcat. That's such a shame. <sighs> oh well, I get a respawn. <laughs> Time to come back in tank that kill everything. Plus I know what Looks like someone's spawn killing. Does indeed. No trees. Don't give my position away. I think he was around this rock, right? Yeah. He was in a little cubby hole. Where they at, though? They killed something and then disappeared. Hmm. Shit. Got a critical on him. A what? How did I... Oh my god, my artillery killed one of our planes. What my artillery fuck? killed our Ju-87. That How makes so much sense. What? I was thinking, did I just shoot a friendly Hellcat? But... <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Very nice. Probably not going to win the game, but at least I've scored some kills. <laughs> they welcome, right. welcome to One Shot Wonderland, people. <laughs> Look, guys, reaction in chat. I wasn't playing. <laughs> How does this happen? I was in plane. Uh, <laughs> Even though he was in a German plane, he definitely speaks with a Russian accent. Well, we are fighting a combined arm, so. Yeah, it could be it could be a Russian pilot in a German plane, for all we know. And I have the most eventful, um, however. Also, I'm still watching that enemy Hellcat that killed me. He's in a, what looks to be a bomber, Devastator or something like that. Yeah, so he's no longer at the point where we thought he was. They are uh, where we thought they were. Uh, that looks like an American carrier base fighter bomber or something. God damn it. That's the remains of my last tank, I think. This pack yeah, yeah. is going in, man. I'm gonna call some, most of them, however. Just call watch some Marty on that guy. All I am is just watching some points on the map move around. Oh shit. 
<sighs> that was too close. Although, it is AA, but still. Mm. Five kills. Balance. I'm just seeing there were no kills, it's annoying. <laughs> Fulcrum Sopro. Please tell me there's. Okay, they're capping A, that's not good. Ooh, it's not shit. I just took a hit. Don't know where from. No, I do know where from. I can see it. Hello, Mr. That's a Chaffee. Go away. Wow. He didn't even drop a bomb on me, man. Or did he? I don't know. Oh well. Taking out the T3457 now. <laughs> It's like a 4.7, isn't it? Oh shit, look at this. That was spawn killer. Can't even see what's going on, all I see is your dot on the map. Welcome to game, Sherman. Please die. No! I gotta kill him. There we go. That'll do. That was a fantastic The jumbo run. was dispatched. It's a shame we lost, man. Hmm. It actually did okay. I think Nigel saw research in the highest one. Top of the team, boy. I have it's not seen map, this map in a while, man. Oh. In fact, I don't... Yeah, I can't, I can't remember the last time that I saw this map. But oh, taking out the M4A2 once again. Oh, uh, shit. I'm doing spawn point one, dude. What's up? Um, I forgot that I had my black print in my lineup. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Um, oh, this so, uh, we've been up tiered, yeah? Yeah, 5.7. <laughs> Great. Oh, the struggle is real. Fuck. Fuck. At least you get to see how slow I am. At the same time, it gives me an opportunity to kill things I wouldn't ordinarily kill. Yeah, or I'll be killed being Or killed just be killed things. really, really quickly and easily. By things that you would normally never get killed by. I mean, this thing gets killed really quickly and easily in its own tier. <laughs> Let alone at this tier. At least most of these guys will be firing hate trap, so there won't be much damage. Hmm. Oh my god. This thing moves. True, but this thing does only have... I oh know it does have a five-man crew. I thought it only had a four. There's a Sherman. Those are big freaking tanks. Yeah, but the Firefly... The Firefly? The Firefly only has four. They take out the machine gunner. I saw a tree drop to the right-hand side, by the way, over this way. I'm just moving into position. As slowly as I can. Carnarvon shooting at something. Ooh, I see it. That's a panther. Can I kill? A lot of things, because shot oh, SV Mark 1. There is a is panther it? directly in front of me, if you can see him. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm just coming over there right now, mate. Nice, the yeah. IS-2 got him. Finally made it here. Cool. Oh. I'll, let, I'll let you be my armor. <laughs> Sorry, Yak Panther. Help me, Major Fulcrum, you're my only hope. Yeah, and the covered <laughs> tank I've got in my life. <laughs> in fact, I'll try, and be, I'll try and be your eyes, how about that? Coming on the right. Carnarvon shooting at something again. There is a Yag Panther moving in. Closer. Alright, I'm gonna call artillery on what the Carnarvon's shooting. See if I can get a cheeky kill with it. Never mind. It's 
doesn't look like a good spot to stay in for that long. It's, it's pretty elevated and quite open. Yeah, exactly. I did see some tracer fire coming from right to left. I think that IS-2 is moving up on it. Whatever it is. I'm just hoping to find someone to shoot. Anyone at this point. Still seeing nothing. Doesn't mean it's not there. The harsh truth. Where is he? Oh man, this Tiger 2 is up in here. Okay, I'm screwed. I can pen a Tiger 2 from the side though, right? Yeah. I tried it with Temporal, A2, Review. Shit. Hostile team's capturing A. Get me, I think. Let me That's just a rock. So they cap the zone, but I don't see anything up here. Oh. Pan's a 35T. No, 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 no! I'm just getting you then. Oh! <laughs> he dove off the rock, this poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> that guy really brought that tank into this battle. My god. He's got bigger balls than you have. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, exceptionally oh large god. cojones. Ooh, oh, tiger. My. Swing moved and he started be measuring the growth of Mount Everest. Just killed a tiger too. Not a tiger too, but a tiger, you know what I'm saying. One <laughs> Two kills so far. You're going big cat hunting. Oh yeah. Why is that IS-2 didn't kill him? Mm. Oh well. They've been bouncing off me. The other day and our IS-2 bounced off three shells from my tiger. I was completely still. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for the cap on A with this IS-2. I guess I'll go attack the uh, spawn. It'll take me longer to turn around and go up the hill. Yeah, I'm gonna bomb that tank on our spawn. Please don't, like, we just get stuck in a little ditch. There are trench Oh god. Oh god. Got to rush. Oh. I heard a plane. Yeah, and it's wind engine, so it's a bit What are you shooting at, friend? Probably something too big for me to kill. So, I am gonna... Get the fuck out of here. Nah, that's a, that is a cannon plane. Shit, no! Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. Run away from the Tiger 2! <laughs> Tiger 2 spotted, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try and flank around. Should be able to kill it, but just be careful about shooting for its current. Just be careful while shooting through its turret, did you say? Shooting at its turret. Just be careful. You can shoot at its size, but be careful with its turret. No, it go away. No, go away. Big plane, fuck off. I think the IS-2 killed him anyway. The target 2 just killed a Knorpen. And they, uh, say the Mark AA. Yeah, that's the Tiger 2 that is up here. 
That's really not good. A rock or something shit out of their base. Ooh. Eyes two, please move. Oh, please kill him. Yeah, good shit, man. Soviet fires. Gonna take the point back. Don't kill me. <laughs> Good stuff, Hello, man. Hello, Panther. Bye, Panther. Spawn kill that Tiger 2 just respawned in this Panther. <sighs> I didn't nearly hit the plane, but that would have been awesome. Oh, shit. Alright. Zone is back up. I just uh, completely created a Panther. I think I actually... Did I track that Tiger 2 and then the Ice 2 killed him? I'm not sure. Pretty sure though. Whoa. Come on, Black Prince. Got anti-air shooting at me. It's a verbal. Double with the Black Prince, you have to have it engaged before you can turn it. But if you try to engage it while you're turning, while you're driving forward, it's screwed. Oh, this thing turned like crap. Non penetration on a Werble Wind. Adel Mayo. Oh, shithead. There we go. Oh, God. Let me get another kill then. Thank you. What did you kill? Oh, man, I'm getting. This plane is. Three pumps. This plane has got the hots for me so bad. Should have come trying to get out of the cab towards the objective. This is actually another good game, surprisingly. I know, even with my accidental crock up. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm it's because I'm Russian. Hmm, bias. Just to do him better than me, it's bias in the fact you've been in the cap, so which is probably what I should have been doing. Alright. They're in the cap again, so I'm I'm gonna see what it in is. Artery, so be careful. Yeah, I got Arty on it as well. Right, I'm now on the Trinity Act. Scorpion. Beast from Britain. All the question is, where did it go? Where do you come from, and where did you go? Cotton Eye Job. I'm gonna die to my own artillery. Ooh, there it is. You really wanna stop playing rednecks now, do no. you? That's that's our tank. That's the IS2. That plane is still rocking around. I know, right? Scary. I'm coming in with the biggest piece of shit I've got in my lineup. Oh man, they're around here somewhere now. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Tiger 2, Porsche. Shame, 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 shame. If I kept, if I kept going the other way, I may have run into him. But oh well, I'm still happy with three kills in the M4A2. Get him, get him. Oh, you're joking me. Get him. What was his super commander? I'm coming in. Right. Coming back in the oh, 3485. There's some Marty going down on him too. Wow, that was so balanced. What, did you kill him? No, but he's getting killed by someone else. Oh, nice. And he just got brewed up by 34100. Good stuff.
They've still got three people up, though. One of them, or two of them, are in planes. I think there's a 109. Yeah. There's a 109 going around, and there's still that. In fact, there's two 109s going around, by the look of things. A 109 energy just flip, yeah. So, two out of the th four left are in planes. But yep. if we cap if we cap the point, we're going to win anyway. So points we captured. Yeah. That is a GG. That's what she wrote for the evil. That's what she wrote for the Germans. Mm. Finally, a matchup that makes sense. Good game, though. Yeah. Three kills in a 5.7. Took me using a black print and spawn killing to get kills. <laughs> You're kind, don't you? Yeah, well. Just putting them out of their misery, man, that's all. They were in Pampers. Uh, where did I come? Well, I came second. In a Jeez. game like that. I'm happy. Okay, so we are going to go over the characteristics of the M4A2's armor just to close the video out as always and let's take a look. So the armor profile is 63 millimeters of thickness on the upper glacis which is sloped at 47 degrees giving the effective thickness of 90 millimeters. Uh, you got the lower portion here which is... The, it's the same amount of thickness at 63 millimeters, but it is sloped at 56 degrees, so it's around 97 millimeters from the front effective thickness. And you've got this thicker portion right here, um, which I believe was to protect the transmission, maybe? I may be wrong. Yeah, I would assume so, being that it's thicker. Um, which is actually 107 millimeters of thickness and it varies from around 123 millimeters of effective thickness to 117. The top part is sloped at 35 degrees, bottom part is sloped at 15 degrees and this bit here is sloped at 12, so it's about 108. Um, but the, the very lower glacis is actually quite effective because of its angling. Um, you range from 117 millimeters of thickness at the very top to 140 millimeters of thickness at the very bottom and slightly weaker towards the sides but I mean if you hit this curved part here that's quite yeah that's quite effective um, you've also got the machine gun port which is a weak point weak point weak point on the front uh, which is only well 63 millimeters thick so if you shoot through here um, if you're facing this thing from the front this is a great spot to shoot it in uh, we'll take a look at the frontal turret armor which is and the gun mantlet is actually 90 sorry 88 millimeters thick uh, with a tiny bit of sloping makes it effectively 90 just yeah around just under 90 millimeters of thickness or yeah 90 millimeters of thickness and then we've got slight sloping on the sides and the top and the bottom um with the turret armor behind it being actually there is no no there's no armor behind the gun mantlet or is there no there is no there is no, 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 there is a gap. You can see the gap there. So there's actually no armor behind this mantlet. So this is actually, yeah, just 90 millimeters of frontal turret armor. And then you've got the front sides of the turret cheeks, which are 63 millimeters of thickness. Uh, but because of the angling at certain points, it ranges from 138 on the very closest part of the cheek towards the mantlet uh, to... I mean, look at that, over 317 millimeters of thickness on the very edges of the cheeks. So if you hit if you hit the outer edges of the cheeks, you're not going to penetrate. Uh, but if you hit the inner, the inner area, yeah, you're going to go straight through. As well as the turret ring only being 63 millimeters of thickness as well. 
uh, which is you get a little bit of extra armor actually. You get a little bit of extra armor with that with this plate here, and then the turret ring behind it. But I mean, overall, it's not that much. You're going to go straight for the turret ring every time. The cupola is a weak spot, I do believe. No, actually, maybe not. No, maybe not. The uh, the cupola is actually really well sloped, um, and you won't really get that much of a chance to. I've noticed it doesn't really deflect downwards when you're shooting in here that much. It doesn't really. Maybe that's just me. You might have you might have better luck, but when I shoot through here, it doesn't deflect downwards and do all that much damage. But um, yeah, not as much of a weak spot as I thought it was. But still, it's only it's only 63 millimeters of thickness, but the effective angle. Uh, it's, it's sloped at 55 degrees, so the effective thickness is just around 90 millimeters to over 317 again, depending on where you hit it when you're facing it. Uh, side of the turret is 63 millimeters thick, not very well sloped at all, so you will go straight through there every time, pretty much no matter where you hit. Yeah, you're gonna go through every time. Side of the hole is only 38 millimeters thick which is pretty mediocre uh, you've got the extra protection here where the ammo racks are normally stored but that's only an extra 25 millimeters of thickness but that is one advantage of the m4a2 in the russian tree is that the ammo storage is in the floor as opposed to in the bins on the side which is what these extra protective plates are for to protect the ammo racks that would normally be in that position but for some reason they're in the floor in this tank. So that is that is an advantage over the regular M4A2 as far as I'm aware. Um, back of the turret is again 63 millimeters thick. But it has it does have these angles here. So you don't want to shoot these parts on the side. Because they're very well angled. I mean look at that. 170 to three, over 300 again. And exactly the same on the other side, guys. Uh, but this portion here is only 63 millimeters thick. And you will go through it every time because the angling is awful. And yeah, it's just going to go through every time. The I haven't tested this, but this angling here isn't too bad. If you see what I mean. Not too bad. So you might, you might get some unlucky ricochets and bounces off this lower portion here but if in doubt just shoot the flat section or the turret ring which is only as thick as it is right there 65 millimeters of effective thickness um the rear hull armor is bad as well uh only 38 millimeters of thickness with not much sloping on the upper portion but you do have the you do have these tracks with a little bit of extra protection as well as the this spare drive wheel um, and the lower portion is slightly angled, actually less so angled than the upper portion. 10 degrees on the upper and 7 degrees on the lower, but it's the rear armor. Rear armor is mostly always bad, uh, especially on the Shermans. Pretty, pretty bad. And the roof armor for anybody in a plane, the engine deck is only 26 millimeters effectively. Yeah, 25 millimeters thick. If you're coming, you can see it increases a little bit. Say if you're coming from this angle or from this angle, 40 millimeters. But if you're coming flat, if you're in a 90 degree dive, you are looking at 25 millimeters of thickness. And the turret roof is, again, only 25 millimeters of thickness. With this frontal portion here to the sides and to the front being... 19 millimeters thick which is bad but um you might you might miss and hit these portions of the turret which are ridiculously angled but highly unlikely um if you are shooting down at this thing from a plane you are going to do a lot of damage uh that is the armor layout of the tank we'll do a quick x-ray just to show you where the crew is so you have the loader on the left hand side of the turret if you're no sorry on the right hand side of the turret if you're looking at this thing frontally um, and the aimer and the commander. The commander is sat directly behind the aimer, so if you shoot through the left-hand side of the turret, you most likely will kill the gunner and the commander in one shot. 
and if you shoot through the right hand side of the turret you're going to kill the loader but it is always good to try and take out the aimer as fast as you can to stop the other tank from shooting back at you before you can reload and take another shot and you've got the assistant driver slash machine gunner on the left hand side of the front hole and you've got the driver on the front right hand side of the hole um so you will not take out the driver and the aimer in one shot if you're facing this thing directly on maybe if maybe if you've got a shot through the side here the shell might travel through the driver and then maybe into the uh maybe into the into the gunner's leg or sort of lower body depending it, it just depends on where you're shooting it from and obviously the angle if you're shooting at it from a hill it's going to go up going to go through the driver and up into the aimer like this just like so but yeah you that is the crew layout and that is the ammo layout so the ammo is in the lower portions of the hull uh shooting at it from the front the transmission tends to eat a lot of damage um and stops shells from going straight through from the front into the ammo but the best bit is to shoot right here if you've got it side on shoot it right there and it's going to go into the ammo send the turret flying into the sky and hopefully not back down onto your tank <laughs> but um yeah right through here should do it which is only 38 millimeters of thickness and you're going to knock the tank out in one shot and get the kill that you want but that is it for the video for today guys so as always i hope you did enjoy and if you did please do give the video a thumbs up and share it with a friend as it's massively appreciated uh, i cannot stress that enough and i will catch you in the next video until then peace out